guys, so my husband and I took a seven day, six night Caribbean carnival cruise, porting in Puerto Rico, going to St. Thomas, St. Martin, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, and Barbados, and then one full day at sea going back to Puerto Rico. It was great, it was very tiring, because every day you're in a different island, you have to get up really early if you want to beat the crowd to the taxis, beaches, excursions, tours, blah, blah, blah. But all in all, you get to see about five islands in one week, and I think it's really cool. On this trip, I wanted to totally disconnect, so I put my phone away. It was my birthday. I wanted to soak it all in. We're going to five islands in one week. This is great. This is a, a, a really great experience, so... I didn't capture as much footage as I would have liked to. However, I did capture enough to show you guys some of the great activities and things that we did while we were there. So if you're ever considering going on this cruise, we'll give you some tips, some do's, some don'ts. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Carnival has their own set of excursions that you can do for each stop for each island, each port. So you can easily go on their website and book any of their excursions and they take care of everything for you. It's all right there. When you debark the boat, you come off, there are gonna be people standing there with a sign, the name of your tour, excursion on it, you just line up right there and then those people guide you to take you wherever you need to go and you're set. I will say though, those, those tours and excursions through Carnival are pretty pricey. We decided to go out on our own, meaning catch a local taxi, pay local taxi prices, and do kind of the same things, but just for a bit cheaper. So for example, most of the taxis that we took that are by land are about eight to $10 per person round trip. Depending on where you're going, it can take you anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour to get to wherever you need to go. Because keep in mind, all of these islands have really narrow, windy, hilly roads. So it does take quite a while to get to wherever you're going. When you debark your boat, uh, there are duty-free shops restaurants, bars, little activities and parties and things going on. Enough about all this stuff. If you have any additional questions, just comment below and I will answer everybody's questions to the best of my knowledge, but let's get into the video. Welcome aboard the Carnival Fascination. If you've ever seen the beach on Instagram or YouTube where all the planes are like flying really low over everyone, that's Maho Beach. Maho Beach also has really tall, strong waves and we are not into waves <laughs> like that. So we decided to go to Orient Bay. <laughs>
Lucia the most. However, if <laughs> when you're going to St. Lucia, you need to know, you need to already know what you are doing and you need to have it paid for, planned out, like to a T. Otherwise, your entire day will be wasted. Depending on what you want to do in St. Lucia will determine how you travel. So if you want to do the volcano and the sulfur bath, more than likely you'll do like a land tour, which is about 80 at least 80 bucks per person where you'll go there they'll stop and take you to grab some lunch or something like that then you go back uh if you want to do a beach day where you're going to like sugar beach or jade mountains sister property i'm gonna royally screw this up but like i think it's called anthony chastity you have to travel by a water taxi if you find a water taxi like a speedboat, you can get there really quick. I recommend doing that. If I had known that they had those like speed water taxis, we definitely would have taken one of those, but we was like, oh, let's do a catamaran. It includes free drinks and Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Cost about a hundred, hundred and ten dollars per person, but we definitely bargained with them. Uh, we got them down to sixty dollars per person, but the only thing with the catamaran is it's like an excursion, so they have to have enough people in order for it to make sense for them to go. So sometimes you'll be waiting around for them to reach whatever capacity, and then you go. It takes about forty-five minutes by catamaran, um, and yeah. Anyway, we got there and we only had enough time to eat lunch and then it was time to go. I was pissed because I'm like, we paid $120 for the two of us to get on this boat, go to this black sand beach that I've been looking forward to and we only had a chance to have lunch and now it's time to go back, bruh. You've got to be kidding me, but I'm not lying. Anyway, on the way back, they show you cool things like where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed and uh, Dr. Doolittle and Superman and things like that. They have these kids that do these stunt jumps off the mountain where you can give them tips and um, things like that. So I, I guess it is pretty cool, but it, it just was not what we were expecting. I really wanted to have a day where we laid out on the beach and the day was nothing like that.